guys oh my god welcome back to the vlog it's a work week in my life i did a hot yoga class this morning that felt amazing not too hot so it was a good in between i took the shower well i washed my hair and i just made myself an espresso i missed my at-home coffee i just got back last night from boston i did a little weekend trip visiting one of my childhood friends who lives there and it was just the best time it was so much fun boston is such an amazing city that's not where i'm moving but it was an amazing city to visit yeah, this coffee is amazing. I'm just obsessed with the foam. I need to get back in my routine a little bit this week. I feel like when I'm traveling and drinking a lot, I start to break out. So I'm excited to kind of, you know, get back to work, get things organized, get things situated. Although it is kind of not really a normal week because as you might be able to tell, there's already a bunch of stuff kind of taken down in the apartment. So my ex-boyfriend was here taking down like a bunch of stuff over the weekend when I was out of town. So I kind of came back to just like a bunch of boxes everywhere and things taken down the walls and stuff. So it's starting to feel a bit more real that I'm moving out of this apartment. In two weeks, I'll be somewhere completely new. I won't be here. I don't really have my... <laughs> next apartment lined up yet but basically won't be here anymore this will be completely packed up all my stuff will be out of it which is crazy because it's been my home for like almost two years at this point and i've really really loved living in this apartment i think it's it's just so gorgeous so much natural lighting i love the area it's just it's really treated me so well and it's been so fun so thankful for my time here and obviously that i love it but it just makes it harder to leave because i do love this space so much and obviously as you guys know i'm leaving chicago too i will tell you guys soon where i'm moving i'm like excited but one thing at a time one thing at a time yeah welcome to a work week of my life if you're new i'm lucia i'm 24 and i work a nine to five in advertising welcome 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 the lowdown of everything crazy happening in my life right now because i feel like this vlog is going to be a bit chaotic so i am going through a breakup with my partner that i was with for five and a half years and we lived together in this apartment so i'm moving i just told you guys my last vlog that i'm actually gonna be leaving chicago which is crazy and later in this video i'll tell you guys where i'm moving to which is very very exciting and i can't wait to share that with you guys but we are gonna have a good work week it's technically tuesday right now because i did a long weekend i was actually off on friday and monday so i'm probably gonna have a lot of emails to sort through and things to get organized on today. But I also do need to pop in some laundry. I need to wash the sheets and just like throw in a bunch of stuff. So I'm actually gonna start with that. I have some fun plans this week actually, which is gonna be cool. So I have a show I'm going to tonight. I'm going to Olivia Rodrigo tomorrow. And then Thursday I have an influencer event with Akira, a fashion brand. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good week. It's just like, it feels so surreal that this is gonna be the last week or no, the second to last week in this apartment. But it is feeling a bit more real, just like seeing all the boxes around and everything. So that is making it a bit more like, wow, okay, this is this is happening. Yeah, let's tackle on the week. I'm gonna get organized at work, throw in some laundry, and let's do this, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, the laundry is kind of loud. Oh, did it just stop? No, I feel like it's keep going, but um, I'm hopping on to an internal Team Connect. We're getting back into the day. Oh, I need the chopstick first. Can't have dry lips or it's gonna drive me insane. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, my hair is starting to dry a little bit, which is nice, but it's still pretty wet. I have been getting a bunch of laundry done, which is good. Switching it out in between calls. I've been hopping on a bunch of different calls. I'm about to hop on to another one. It's a one-to-one. -one. It's already 12.28, which is crazy. The day has kind of flown by, but I do feel productive. I'm glad that I did my hot yoga class this morning. After this call, I'm rewarding myself. It's my last call of the day, I think, unless something else pops up. And I'm gonna reward myself with a walk to brew and get a crepe since I just got in from out of town last night. I don't have groceries. That's been the story of my life for the past three weeks. I keep making excuses, so that's my excuse this week. I don't know if I will get groceries. I probably should though. So yeah, but for today, we're good. I do have bonza that I can make later though for dinner, so that's my plan for that. Okay, let's hop onto this call. My back is starting to hurt. I think it's this chair. I won't miss this chair in Chicago. But yeah, let's hop on. Picked up my crepe. You guys have seen it a million times. The California breakfast crepe from Brew. The laundry is still loud, but gonna take a break and eat this. Done with my crepe and my little break. That didn't rhyme, but kind of sounded like it rhymed. Um, I ate it way too fast, honestly, but I was just so hungry. But now it's time to get back to work. I have an exciting evening. I'm getting a facial and then I'm going makeup free with post facial skin to on your feet. Cause I wanted to fit in a facial this week, but there's like no night where I don't have something. So I'm like, I might as well just go makeup free to the theater on my solo day. Like it's fine. Let's get back to work. All right, guys, it's a bit later. I'm about to head out for my facial. And then after that, I'm gonna head to the theater to see On Your Feet. It's so bright in this apartment, wow. I'm doing a styling free like hair situation for the night and makeup free, obviously because I have my facial before. Just to give myself a break, I honestly never really go out to like an event like that or a show or anything makeup free. I'll go out like to run errands or like random stuff like that, but I never really go out makeup free. So I know people do that all the time, but I'm just like not used to it. So it's a little weird for me, but I just want to give my skin a break from traveling and stuff. I don't want to be putting anything on it. I've been putting so much makeup on it recently and also give my hair a break. So yeah, very casual, <laughs> but let's go get a facial. It's so bright and sunny outside. It's 55 degrees. So we're gonna have a nice walk to clean your dirty face for my last facial. And then we're gonna go see On Your Feet with Broadway in Chicago. Hopefully it's not my last Broadway in Chicago show, but it probably is at least for the time being. So that's kind of sad because I love all of their shows, but I'm really excited for On Your Feet. So let's do it. I'm nice and cozy. you guys i am back post facial and post on your feet oh my god the show was so good it was fun to be like so up close for it i love that they they just give us like the best seats it's amazing i just love her story there were details of it i forgot because it's been like seven years since i've seen the show but she just had such an inspiring story she went through so much and she's just such a rock star i just i love her story the musical is so good they tell it so well also i don't know if i told you guys this earlier but i actually saw the show when it was on broadway in 2016 and i met gloria stefan super briefly at the theater i just happened to like run into her as she was leaving and i was like oh my god can i have a photo with you i was like a teenager so i have a photo with gloria stefan and she was so nice it was just cool going back and seeing 
the show because it's such a good show and the actors were phenomenal there was some like sound issues at one point but like that honestly wasn't bad yeah it was such a fun self-care solo night um i ran into a couple people that i knew and i was like oh god i've like this is the one night i didn't want to run into anyone that i knew i just wanted to mind my own business that's the one thing about like just like going out without getting ready i'm like Ugh, i don't want to run into anyone i know and then of course i like it's always the days when you don't want to run into someone that you actually run into people whenever you're like oh my god in such like a talkative mood feeling like very put together and excited you never run into anyone you know so <laughs> i should have known that, that was gonna happen but like honestly it's fine it was such a heartwarming show i definitely cried during it there's like some sad moments for sure because she has this spinal cord injury towards the end of the show and just like in her life and stuff and there's other moments too that are just like very moving but yeah it's such a good show if you ever get the chance to go see it i would definitely definitely recommend it's honestly one of my favorites yeah i think i'm gonna heat up some bonza the rest of the bonza that i made earlier because i'm pretty hungry and then i have a bunch of laundry i need to do in terms of folding i need to make the bed and just like get everything situated to go to sleep tonight i have a late workout class in the morning so i can stay up a bit later getting things cleaned and stuff if i need to so let's do it Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It feels like a Tuesday for me though. I'm kind of overwhelmed, not gonna lie. I mean, obviously it's just a crazy week and I've really jam-packed my schedule. I actually have a massage during my lunch break, which is a little bit crazy of me to do. And I have the Olivia Rodrigo concert tonight, which I'm so excited for. I've had a productive morning. I did a little workout class, showered, and I've been getting a lot of stuff done, which is amazing. But I am just feeling a little bit overwhelmed i guess you could say with everything going on but that's what makes life exciting when you have like so many plans that you're excited about but it's just like sometimes a bit too much but that's okay because it's my second to last week in chicago so i really do need to just live this up while i can and i know that you're probably annoyed with me because i haven't said where i'm <laughs> moving to yet which is the point of this video i kind of want to tell you guys when i'm like all like glammed up i don't really want to tell you when i have my colonial boy ponytail on i think it'd be fun when i'm like all ready for my concert tonight to announce to you guys where i'm going i'm so excited i just feel like every person i've been talking to about this has been like oh my god this feels so right for you and whenever you mention it your eyes light up and i'm just like yay like this is this is gonna be good for me i'm excited for this new era okay so i'm gonna finish up some work and then i'm gonna need to run and go to my massage which is very exciting i was like invited in and it'll be fun to have a little lunch break so let's do it
Okay guys, the work day is over and I'm getting ready for the Olivia Rodrigo concert. I haven't updated too much today because I've just been running around like a crazy person I feel like. My massage was great and since then I've just had a few calls and just been getting work done. Nothing really crazy to report, honestly. I'm excited for this concert. I just hope I get ready in time and I'm not feeling super rushed because that would be annoying. I probably actually need to take off this sweatshirt so I don't get my makeup messed up when I take it off. Um, but I have my outfit picked out and I'm super pumped. Olivia Rodrigo is honestly probably like my favorite artist right now. I just like am obsessed with all of her music. It just speaks to me. I feel like she's literally saying what's exactly in my head. I just connect to her music so much. So I'm really so excited. I've never been more excited for a concert, but I just... I feel like I'm stressed and like since I'm leaving Chicago next week, I'm like not as excited as I probably would be if it was just like a normal week in my life. So I think for that reason, I'm not as pumped because I'm just a little bit stressed about things, but I am really pumped. It's just hard for me to express that right now. And I think I'm going alone. I might, so I know a friend that's going, but we don't have seats next to each other. She's sitting with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend is sick, so he might not go. I could be sitting with her. I don't know. I also think when I'm going to things alone, it's like a bit more stressful because I would prefer going with another person. But if I don't have someone to go with, that's not going to stop me from going. So that's kind of... I guess how I'm feeling about that because it is a little stressful just like managing things on your own but I think I can take the bus there and honestly it won't be that bad. It starts at 7 30. The opener is someone I think I would like. Chappelle Roan I think is their name but I just don't really have time to go to that unfortunately. <laughs> it's hard to like go to concerts that start so early on like an evening night when you like want to get ready, look cute, take pictures. But I think she comes on at about 8 30 so I think I'm gonna try to like get there at 7 30 maybe. I don't know. The vibes will just see. I hope that I get to end up sitting with my friend because that would be really fun but obviously that might not work out. But let's do my makeup. I'm in the middle of getting ready and I'm gonna eat this bowl from Moon Bowls and watch Friends. Okay, you guys, I am headed out the door for Olivia Rodrigo. I'm literally so excited. Like, I am kind of freaking out. I know every single word to all of her songs, so this is just gonna be the best concert ever. Gonna hop in my Uber. You guys, OMG, I'm back from Olivia Rodrigo. It was amazing. I will tell you guys all about it in the morning. I'm literally so tired. I just did my skincare and I need to go to sleep. It took forever to get to the bus. And then, well, once we were on the bus, there was so much traffic. So it took like an hour to get back, which I guess isn't really that bad, but then it was freezing and I was walking alone at night and it was just a lot. But anyway, <laughs> it was so much fun. I don't know if I told you guys, actually, I ended up going with my friend Ariane because she ended up having an extra floor seat. I got to go sit with her in her floor seats and it was just such a fun experience. I'm so glad I got to do it with her and see it with her because it's just so much more fun doing things with girlfriends, even though I'm like down to do stuff alone, obviously. It's so much more fun when you're with someone. So it was such a good time. I was so close to it was like crazy. So it was so fun I just like couldn't have asked for a better night and I'm so sad. It's over I feel like I have post-concert blues where I just like watch like all the 
clips that I took and can't go to sleep because I'm like so restless. It's now like 12.22, so I really do need to get to bed. But yeah, I'll tell you guys more about the concert tomorrow because it was just like crazy. <laughs> There's so many little children. I felt so old. I was like Gen Alpha representing. And there were so many parents. It was crazy. But anyway, I gotta go to sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow's already Thursday. This week is flying by because this is a short week for me. So insane. Oh my God, you guys, good morning. I just got back from Vinyasa Flow. I was feeling so good after the class, but now I honestly just feel hungover. <laughs> and you guys know I didn't drink last night. I'm doing another alcohol cleanse. So I think I just like didn't get enough sleep and I'm just tired and that's what it is so i'm gonna try to take it easier today i have an influencer event tonight with akira which is gonna be fun but yeah i'm really just not feeling 100 percent maybe i'll take an element and some vitamin c and hope that revives me <laughs> i realized last night i never told you guys where i was moving i'm sorry because i feel like i should have announced this way earlier in the vlog but i'll just tell you now ah oh my god okay you guys i am moving to new york city I am so excited. I literally can't wait. This has been a dream of mine since I was literally like five years old. I used to go on vacation a lot to New York City as a kid and I was just always obsessed with it. I spent three weeks there at a musical theater camp. I went a bunch in high school and college. One of my brothers used to live there. So we would go visit all the time. Now my other brother lives there. So I'm visiting him and all my college friends and stuff. And I just, I love New York City. I feel so alive when I'm there. You guys, if you've been around for a bit, you've seen all my like weekend trip vlogs to New York City that I've taken since post-grad and I just think it's the right move for me. I think it's what I want to do um, in this new chapter of my life and being single. I feel like if I don't do it now, I'm going to regret not moving to New York because I just really want to see what it's like. I honestly think it would be so cool to just live there forever, but I mean like who knows what would happen, but I mean that would be like my ultimate dream. <laughs> I just think it is so my energy. I've been wanting to live there for so long. A big reason why I didn't live there was job stuff for sure, but also like because of my relationship. So I feel like this is like the biggest opportunity to just do whatever I want and start building the life that I want for myself. And yeah, starting my single era in New York City and just having so much fun. I'm able to keep my same job. I'm just transferring offices. So that'll be good because I'm not changing up that. And yeah i just i can't wait i'm really so 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 excited i'm definitely nervous because there's just a lot of moving parts i don't have like an official apartment yet but i do have an apartment that i can stay at for a couple months in the meantime which is nice so i do have that lined up yeah i think i'm gonna go home for a little bit and stay with my parents just to visit them and everything before i do make the move and i'm gonna kind of make the move in a bunch of parts because when i'm first going there i'm not gonna have like my actual place yet so then i'll get to like apartment tour with you guys and just figure out what neighborhood i want to live in permanently and like sign a lease at and stuff it's gonna be a whole journey but i'm so excited and it's not like i'm really gonna be starting super fresh because a lot of my friends do live in new york one of my brothers lives in new york i have a couple cousins there too and just a big support system there already Ready. So I think it's the perfect move for me right now in this time in my life and I couldn't be more excited and I'm excited to share this journey with you. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna have a week and a half left in Chicago and then I'm moving out and probably will spend a week at home in Louisiana and then go up to New York. But I don't know. I don't know exactly the timing in terms of moving to New York, but that's what I'm doing and I am so excited and it's going to be so fun to document this journey with you guys and figure out where I want to live in New York and just start building my life and living alone and just having the best time. So can't wait and thank you for making it all the way to this part of the video where I finally announced where I'm moving to. But yeah, I love you guys. I really appreciate all of your support throughout this whole like journey and experience and this is the next part of that. So we're gonna take it on together. I really need to clean the apartment. It is so, 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 so messy. I don't really know what happened, but I think I just have been busy since I got back and it just kind of exploded. So I'm gonna focus on cleaning the apartment and we're gonna have a good work from home day. Okay guys, it's 5 p.m. Updating you guys so much later. I've just been so exhausted today, um, but I got all my work done, which is great. And now I'm about to get ready for my influencer event with Akira, which is this really cute clothing store. It actually originated in Chicago. I've worn a bunch of their stuff for like music festivals and things like that. But yeah, I'm excited. I just like really need, <laughs> 
energy for this. I'm honestly so tired, but I'm gonna get ready. I have no idea what to wear. I don't know what the vibe is for this event. I don't, I kind of want to wear jeans because it's cold outside, but I just hope that that's not too casual. I feel like it should be okay. People wear like all sorts of things to these events, but time to get ready and I need to leave in like an hour. guys classic me i was so tired that now i'm feeling so much better but i'm running late so i have to uber instead of taking the train i was wanting to take the train there just because I might as well save money but just did not work out tonight but i want to show you guys my outfit i feel like the apartment is kind of messy i did end up cleaning it today so it does look a little bit better but i mean there's just like boxes everywhere and stuff this is the fit i feel like i'm wearing this sweater so much recently but it's perfect for this like weird winter spring transitional period this is definitely more of a winter outfit i really want to wear spring but i just feel like it's way too cold outside for that it's like 40 degrees today but this sweater is urban i've been wearing it so much these are my new leather pants from abercrombie because my other ones broke so i had to get new ones the shoes are princess polly got all of my normal gold jewelry on my hair is straight as a board <laughs> and we are off to subtle house which is anna redmond's like new like co-working space event space influencer sort of space so i'm excited to go there because i haven't been to subtle house yet and i'm excited to go before i leave chicago because i think it's so cool that she's doing that so it's hosted at subtle house and it's Akira, the clothing brand. So I think it's gonna be fun. I know a bunch of girls that are going, so I'll just talk with everyone there. I am back from the event. It's 9.40, so I was gone quite a while, but it was so fun. I love Subtle House, it was gorgeous. It was such a fun event. It honestly is kind of bittersweet for me because I feel like I honestly love the creator community in Chicago. Everyone is so nice and there's like so many people, but it's also pretty small, like definitely smaller than New York will be. And I feel like I'm finally like making more connections in the creator community and like seeing the same people at events and stuff and also like making connections with the brands and I'll kind of have to start over when I get to New York, which will be a little bit, you know, we'll take some time, but that's okay. But I wanted to unbox the little goodie bag that we had. Also, I totally wore like the wrong outfit. Everyone was slaying and like just very cool, like trendy, like almost festival vibe outfits. And I felt like I was in like going into the office, but it's fine. I got to try on this like dress there. It was like a teddy bear dress. It was literally the most fun thing ever. I've never tried on something like that. So that was very cool. Um, but let's unbox the goodie bag. Okay, this is like a little keychain just on this. Oh my God, it's also a teddy bear. That must be their thing right now. Ooh, okay, I feel like these are gonna be fun accessories. Oh my God, this is such a fun bag. This would be so fun to just like take out when you're like going to the bar or something. Ooh, okay, a nice like choker moment, I think. Cute. Oh my God, these sunglasses are too cool for me, guys. Oh, I feel like these are too cool for me. That's so fun for a festival though. A pin, okay, cool accessories. This is gonna be so fun to take out to the bars in New York. Like it's so extra, but I love that. Ooh, this is cute. I need one of these. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, an Akira water bottle. Very fun. Ooh, these look like tights. I love a tight moment. You guys know I love my tights. Ooh, and a mirror, this is fun. Oh my God, thank you Akira. And I'm excited to pick out the pieces. I kind of want to get that teddy bear dress. I think it is so fun, but yeah. I'm really tired, I'm gonna do my skincare and get ready for bed. I wanna get a lot of sleep tonight because I feel like I was not feeling 100% and I wanna be good for the weekend and for like my whole last week in Chicago and stuff. So, that's my plan. Oh my God, hello you guys. I woke up with a cold. Happy Friday though. This is literally the second time I've had a cold this month. I'm so annoyed, but it's okay. I'm hoping it'll go away soon. Right this second or tomorrow is probably more realistic. I'm gonna make some pasta though. Banza to be exact. Putting on the water now because I'm really craving some bonza and I'm not eating out for lunch, you guys. <laughs> Look at me go. Eating out for like every meal this week. But I do have dinner plans tonight, but it's a social media gifted dinner, so 
account. Um, but I am excited to have some dinner plans and social plans for the evening. But yeah, gonna throw on this bonza. It's like 12 p.m. I am in between meetings, so I don't think this will be all cooked and ready before then, unfortunately. But I had to cancel my workout class this morning because I was just so in my cold feels. Like I was just not feeling it. And I think it'll probably be best for me to just rest. It's just annoying because I feel like <laughs> this keeps happening to me. But it's okay. I think it's just because I haven't gotten a lot of sleep this week. So my body is just a bit run down. So I'm just going to be extra nice to it today. I made some tea this morning. I'm going to make myself another cup. Actually. That's a good idea. But it's my last like true Friday in Chicago. Because next Friday is going to be like a wedding dress shopping day. Not for me getting married. For like a guest dress um, for my brother's wedding. But and like moving out and leaving. So this is my last like Friday night in Chicago. And it's going to be very chill. Just like dinner plans with a friend. And then maybe we'll have a movie night after. But it's just crazy you guys. Oh my god. I'm so excited for this pasta though. Let's tackle the day. I do have a call starting in like 15 minutes. So I don't think I'm going to have the sponsor done in time. So I have to go camera off and get that done. But I'm gonna make another cup of tea and I'm feeling a lot better right now. I have like a new sense of energy, which is why I finally picked up my camera today. So I'm just gonna continue getting stuff done. It's actually a pretty busy work day. I've had a fair amount of calls today. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, now it's 1.30. I'm done with all my calls, finally. I ate my bonza kind of like in between them. It was yummy. I honestly might have more. I'm like still hungry. But the Royal Palace just released a video from Princess Kate Middleton who has cancer and I'm just so sad about that and so shocked I feel like everyone was like memeing about her online for the past couple months like where is Kate and like not gonna lie I was very invested in that as well even though I do obviously want to respect her privacy like I wasn't posting anything about it I think everyone was just so concerned about her and I'm just so sad that that is what is happening to her I was hoping it was like I don't know something <laughs> different I knew she was like having like a medical treatment but some people were like oh like that's not true like there were so many conspiracy theories and I'm just really sad that she had to release that video and that she has cancer and is undergoing chemo treatment and my heart just goes out to her and obviously anyone dealing with cancer right now but that was such a sad friday afternoon listen and watch i just feel i just feel for her like what are those people i feel like i get so affected by what i read on the news but i try to like not let it affect me most of the time just because like bad things are happening every single day like literally everywhere and i don't know it's just hard because we i want to like acknowledge everything but i also like i feel like we weren't meant to receive all of this information about what's happening in like different countries because that's not how like humans were built like the only reason we know all this is because of online and it's just like i don't know it's a tough thing to navigate sometimes like trying to live your own life and focus on you but also like give your heart out to other people that are struggling or going through things or like tragedies that are happening but anyway that's my food for thought i'm gonna get back to work I'm like so tired i'm excited for dinner but i i kind of do just want to cozy up tonight but that is not in the cards for me okay guys i got all ready and i'm about to log out of work i just got ready when i had a little break but i'm gonna go ahead and slam my laptop shut until monday for dramatic effect yay <laughs> i'm feeling a little bit better now i'm gonna do some cleaning up i need to leave in like an hour and a half so i guess i do have some time which is nice i want to get things situated i definitely just feel overwhelmed i feel like i have so much i need to do this weekend and so many people i want to see and i haven't even started packing yet so we're gonna get on that Okay, so my friend that I'm going to dinner with tonight is stuck at work and I feel so bad for her, but I'm also like, I don't know what to do about the reservation because it's a social media invite. So I think I'll just call my Uber. I might be a little late because I was kind of like waiting around for a second, but I guess I'll just go and eat alone until she gets there. I just, I don't know what to do. If it was just like a regular reservation, I just like wouldn't go, but it's like a social media thing. I'm like, 
feel like I still have to go. So, solo dinner, maybe. <laughs> I am back from dinner. You guys, I'm so exhausted. We ended up watching The Devil Wears Prada at my friend's apartment after. And I was like falling asleep towards the end. I love that movie though. She hadn't seen it yet. So I was like, we have to watch that. There, there's no other option. But it was so fun. I said my first goodbye to one of my good friends in Chicago. And it's just kind of sad. I feel like, especially with all the new friends that I've made in Chicago, I just like I know it's so hard to keep up with people whenever you like move to a new city and stuff and I feel like I finally got like close to my new friends in Chicago because I met a bunch of them just like this past summer so like less than a year ago and now I'm leaving all of them which is sad because I feel like it's been so fun making these connections I feel like whenever you are making new friends as an adult everyone is so busy and traveling all the time and has like long work hours so it's hard to really hang out a lot i'm sad about my friends that i won't get to see as much anymore now that i'm moving to new york but the good thing about new york is that i feel like it's a place so many people love to visit so i feel like i'll have friends from like all walks of life that'll just be in the city and hopefully will reach out to me and stuff but yeah dinner was fun we went to this restaurant in the south loop that was like french inspired i feel so bloated I just made myself a chamomile tea and I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. I'm gonna start a new vlog in the morning of my last weekend in Chicago, which is gonna involve a lot of packing. So it's kind of gonna be more so like a packing vlog. So the moving series is starting, you guys. We're really doing it, which is insane. But very soon I will be in New York and creating my new life there and closing up this chapter, which is just, so surreal and i honestly just can't believe it but a good thing about vlogging is that i have so many videos of this apartment and of like i feel like i've really captured my life here and if i ever want to reminisce on my life in chicago i can just watch some of my vlogs see what was going on that's honestly one of my favorite parts about vlogging i do that sometimes with my college vlogs and i'm like oh my god like this is so crazy it feels like forever ago that i was like living that life in that apartment and I feel like it, it takes a while for a new apartment to feel like home, but I am excited to create that for myself and I think it definitely is the right thing for me and the decision to move to New York just does feel so right and I am really excited, but it's obviously just a huge life change and a lot going on. I am glad I get to keep my same job though and that my role won't change at all, which will be nice to have like some things that are steady in my life, but um, it's gonna be so crazy. I'm excited. I'm just exhausted from this week. I feel like I really I really jam-packed it But I feel like that's just kind of how I am you guys and honestly, that's what I feel like I am more of an extrovert Like I get my energy from hanging out with people. Well, I say that but then I'm like also exhausted But I do love like just putting myself out there and like going to things Especially I think since I am living alone. I think when I was in a relationship and was like living with my boyfriend at the time, I wasn't as into going out as much and like scheduling a bunch of things because like I knew I had socialization at the apartment pretty much whenever. So now I'm just finding that in other ways through making a lot of plans with friends and just making sure I'm still connecting with people in person and having fun things to do. Yeah, I feel like this week was a good version of that. Honestly, this March in Chicago has been so fun. I do think that I could have built a fun single life for myself here, but I just want to go for it in New York and just do it because it's something I've always wanted to do and I don't want to live my life with regrets. And I really do feel like deep down in my gut, it's the right thing for me. And it just makes so much sense for this time in my life. And maybe it'll be my forever home, who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for your support as always. I can't wait to share this entire experience with all of you. It's gonna be a fun, wild ride. So definitely subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss out on all of my upcoming videos. And I love you guys. I will see you next time.